Hello guys, welcome back to another lesson. So in today's lesson, what we're going to be doing is uh, balancing equation with two unknowns on both sides. So that's the main objective of today's lesson. Now, when I'm, what, what do I mean by two unknowns from both sides of the equation? Let me show you an example. Hopefully this will make more sense. Okay, so we've got a x variable on the right hand side of the equation and another variable 2x on the left hand side of the equation. So we need to somehow solve this problem. What I tend to do when I encounter questions like this is I tend to have all the x variables on the left hand side of the equation and all the numbers on the right hand side of the equation. It just makes life a lot simple for me. Um, so let's start with the first example 2x plus 3 equals x plus 5. Now this is obviously involving algebra so the x is equal to a particular value. That's the main objective. We need to find the mystery of x. It's like being a detective and solving the problem. Okay so I'm going to start over here. We've got x, 1x right and I want to eliminate the 1x from the right hand side, get rid of it completely. Now, if you think about it on a number scale, 1, how do I make it to 0 kind of disappear? Well, you're going to subtract it by 1x. Okay, so I'm going to subtract x from this side. 1x minus x equals 0, so that cancels out. And what you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. It's just the rule that you need to accept. So we have 2x minus x. 2x minus x gives us x, 1x. Okay, so x plus 3 equals 5. Now again, we need to get rid of this positive 3. Now to do this, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Positive 3 minus 3 gives us 0, that cancels out. And as I said to you before, what you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side, so that's going to be minus 3. And we've got x is equal to 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. So our final answer is x is equal to 2. Now I'm just going to check if that's correct. And the way we can do that is by putting the value of x back into the equation. So we have 2 times 2 plus 3 equals 2 plus 5. 2 times 2 is 4 plus the 3. We've got 7 on this side. 7 equals 7. Yep, so it's balanced. So I know for a fact that this is the correct answer. X is equal to 2. Now let's go back to another example. 3x plus 2 equals x plus 8. Again, I like to have the x variables on one on the left hand side of the equation and the numbers on the right hand side of the equation. So I'm going to minus x from the from the right hand side to cancel out because one x minus one x it gives us a zero. Right? Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So you have three x minus x gives us two x plus two equals eight. Um, again, I want to get rid of this positive 2. Now, obviously, you're going to be doing the inverse. So, positive 2 minus 2 gives us 0, cancels out on the number on the number line. So, we've got 2, and we've got 1, and we've got 0. And I want to eliminate it completely by subtracting it from, from, from 2. So, 1, 2 equals 0. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So, we have... 2x is equal to 6, 8 minus 2 is 6. Now again here is, you just need to think about it logically. What would you need to multiply 2 to give a 6? Well the answer is 3, so x is equal to 3. Um, that's our final answer. Again you can check your answers whether it's correct or not by plugging it back into the equation and if it's the same number on both sides of the equation, then you know that you've got the correct answer. Okay, so let's do some more examples. 
we have 2x plus 2 equals 2x plus 8. Sorry, did I say that right? We have 5x plus 2 equals 2x plus 8. Just didn't sound right in my head. <laughs> um, so again, I like to do, what I like to do first is to get all the x's to one side and all the numbers on the other side. So 2x, I want to eliminate it. So I'm going to do minus 2x. Because 2x minus 2x gives us 0. You just, it, it's just, you need to make it 0. And whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So you have 5x minus 2x equals 3x plus 2 equals 8. And then we have 3x plus 2 equals 8. I want to eliminate this positive 2. Let's do this again. You're going to minus 2 from both sides because positive 2 minus 2 cancels out. We've got positive minus 2 over here. So it's 3x is equal to 6. Now what would you need to multiply 3 to give us 6? Well the answer is equal to 2. Again you can check your answers whether it's correct or not by plugging it back into this equation and if it's if it has the same number on both sides of the equation then it's correct. Okay so what the hell? Let me just let me just do it for you. So five open brackets two plus two equals two open brackets two plus eight. Uh, five times two is ten plus the twelve plus the two sorry equals twelve on this side of the equation. Two times two is four plus eight equals twelve. So that's correct. So twelve on both sides. So there you go. I've just proven that the answer is correct. Uh, with uh, fourth example, 2x plus 1 equals 4x plus 5. Again, I like to keep the x variables on the left hand side. So we've got a positive 4x. What I need to do first is gonna, I'm going to minus both sides by 4x. It doesn't really matter about negatives. We'll, we'll come to that later on. So we've got 2x minus 4x, which gives us two, minus 2x plus 1 equals 5. Again, I'm going to get rid of this positive 1 by subtract, subtracting minus 1. Minus 1 over here. So we've got minus 2x is equal to 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Now, what would you need to multiply minus 2 by to give us a positive 4? Well, the answer is going to be minus 2. Okay, so remember, when you multiply a negative with a negative, the answer is going to be a positive. So minus 2 times minus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, and as I said to you before, you can always check your answer, whether it's correct or not, by, by plugging it back into this equation. And if it's the same answer, from both sides of the equation, then you know for a fact that this is the correct answer. Okay, uh, let's go on with more examples. We have 4x minus 2 equals 2x plus 4. Again, I'm going to start with the 2x variable on the right hand side of the equation. I'm going to minus 2x from both sides. We have 4x minus 2 x which gives us 2x minus 2 equals 4. Over here we have minus 2. In this, in this example I want to, let me just draw a number line for, for you to give a better understanding. Minus, minus 2, minus 1 and 0. I want to eliminate it by making it to 0. How can I make minus 2 go to 0? You can do that by adding 2 to both sides. Minus 2 Plus 2 gives us 0, which cancels out. And I'm going to add 2 from both sides, 2 to this side. So we have 2x is equal to 6. Now, again, what, what would you need to do to multiply 2 by to give us a 6? Well, the answer is going to be 3. So our final answer, x is equal to 3. Again, you can always check your working out by substituting the value of x back into this equation 2x minus 2. Sorry, 
equal to 4x minus 2 equals 2x plus 4. Just plug it in back into the equation. Um, so this example, we have 9x plus 2 equals 20, 24 minus 2x. Again, I'm going to start off by uh, trying to eliminate this negative 2x. And the way we can do that is by adding 2x from both sides. So minus 2x plus 2x gives us 0, cancels out. I'm going to plus 2x over here. So 9x plus 2x equals 11x plus the 2 equals 24. I want to get rid of this positive 2. And the way we can do that is by subtracting 2 from both sides. So we have 11 x is equal to 22. What would you need to multiply 11 by to give us 22? Well, the answer is equal to 2. So again, you can always check your answers by plugging it back into this equation. 9x plus 2 equals 24 minus 2x. And that's how we uh, solve problems involving two, side, two unknowns from both sides of the equation. slightly more complicated one well it's not really complicated but it's, it's get, students get slightly scared when they see a negative uh, but it doesn't really matter so again we're going to start on this side of the equation we're minus 3x I'm going to plus 3x on both sides minus 6x plus 3x gives us minus 3x plus 10 equals minus 14 I want to get rid of this positive 10, so I'm going to minus 10 from both sides. Minus 3x is equal to minus 24. What do I need to multiply? Th minus 3 to give us minus 24. Well, the answer is equal to 8. Okay, so minus 3 times 8 is equal to minus 24. Okay, you, as I said to you before, you can always check your answer, whether it's correct or not by plugging it back on into this original equation, minus 6x plus 10 equals minus 3x minus 14. Just double check it. Uh, again, we've got minus 8x plus 6 equals minus 5x plus 9. I want to get rid of this minus 5x by adding 5x to the right-hand side of the equation. What, what you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side of the equation. So we have minus 8x plus 5x, which gives us minus 3x plus 6 equals 9. Uh, again, so we've got minus 3x plus 6 equals 9. I'm going to minus 6 from both sides. So you have minus 3x equals 3. What would you need to multiply minus 3 by to give us positive? Three. Well, the answer is x is equal to minus 1. Okay, so minus 3 times minus 1 is equal to 3 positive 3. Okay, so you can give these questions a go. We've got 2y plus 5 equals 5y minus 10. Um, I'm going to give you a minute, or you can pause the video, in fact. Um, see if it's correct. Well, again, as I said to you, I like I tend to, to like to start on the right hand side of the equation. I'm going to minus five y from both sides. So we have two y minus five y gives us minus three y plus five equals minus ten. Minus five minus five. So we've got minus three is equal to minus fifteen. What would you need to multiply minus 3 by to give us minus 15? Well, the answer is going to be uh, we've got positive 5. So y is equal to positive, oops, 5. Let me just get rid of this. Uh, the next one is uh, very similar to the uh, previous example. 
So we've got 2x plus 6 equals 3x plus 4. Again, I'm going to start by eliminating this positive 3x. I'm going to minus 3x from both sides. So 2x minus 3x gives us minus 1x plus 6 equals 4. I want to get rid of this 6, positive 6. So I'm going to minus 6 from both sides. We have minus x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2. And that's our answer. x is equal to 2. Okay, so third example, we have, so for those that can't see it, we have 5n plus 4 equals 58 minus 4n. Again, I need to get rid of this negative 4n by adding 4n to both sides. We have 9n plus 4 is equal to 58 minus the 4. What we have is 9n is equal to 54. What would you need to multiply 9 by to give us uh, 54? n is equal to 6. Okay, you can check whether this is correct or not by again plugging it back into the equation. And if it's the same number on both sides of the equation, then you know that your answer is correct. Uh, so let's start again with, we get rid of it first. So we have 2z plus 4 equals 5z minus 5. Again, I'm going to eliminate the 5z from here. So 2z minus 5z equals minus 3z plus the 4 is equal to minus 5. Again, I want to get rid of this positive 4. I'm going to minus 4 from both sides. So minus 3z is equal to minus 9. What would you need to multiply minus 3 by to give us, to give us minus 9? z is going to be equal to 3. So minus 3 times 3 is equal to minus 9. So that's correct, correct. So minus, so the answer is equal to 3. And let me see if I can get rid of this again. Uh, again, so we've got 5w plus 5 minus 2w plus 14. Uh, so that's minus w minus w. 3w plus 5 is equal to 14 minus 5 minus 5. 3w is equal to 9. w is equal to 3. So that's the final, oops, keep doing that. Final answer is W is equal to 3. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you an opportunity, opportunity to pause the video and attempt these questions on the board. Okay, so the green section is the easier version of it. So orange and red one are the more difficult ones. So I'm going to give you a minute uh, to, well, you can pause it and attempt them. All right, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye.